All right, example two. So negative two fifths x minus 12 plus five equals nine. Uh, now with this one, you'll notice we've got uh, a, another term here. Before we only had two terms, now we got one more. One more tip when you're solving equations is try to clean, I like to call it cleaning it up a little bit. If you can simplify anything in the equation before you start to solve, it's gonna make your life a whole lot easier. So what that means is if there's any like terms, combine them first and then it's gonna save you steps in the long run. Because here, if I wanted to do it in multiple steps, I would add 12 to both sides, subtract five from both sides, and then I'd tackle this negative two fifths x. But those are extra steps. If instead, we simplify it first and say, well, minus 12 plus five, I can simplify that to negative two fifths x is still the same, minus five, sorry, minus 12 plus five becomes minus seven, right? Negative 12 plus five is negative seven uh, equals nine. So if you can simplify the equation before you start to solve it, it's gonna make things way easier. So now that we've done that, now it's just like uh, the previous example. So I'm gonna, if I wanna get rid of that minus seven, I'm gonna add seven, the opposite uh, operation to both sides. Those go away. I've got now just negative two fifths x equals nine plus seven gives me 16. And now here, I wanna get rid of this uh, negative two fifths all at once. And I know it's negative two fifths times x, the inverse operation of multiplication is division. So I wanna divide this by negative two fifths to, to get the variable alone. But we know that dividing by a fraction is the same thing as multiplying by its reciprocal. If, you, if, if that's ringing a bell or if you haven't heard that before, check out uh, the dividing fractions video, that'll help. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna multiply both sides by the reciprocal of two fifths, which is five halves. So times negative five halves. And if you notice, right, that simplifies, that simplifies, and you, you're just left with x, which is exactly what we want. Anything I do to one side, I gotta do the other though. So this is also getting multiplied by negative five halves. Uh, I like to make that look like a fraction so I don't get confused. Always try to simplify before you multiply if you can. So two goes into 16 uh, eight times, so that becomes one and that becomes eight. And then eight times negative five is negative 40. One times one is just one, I don't really need that. So x is negative 40, before I box it, let's check real quick. And is four plus five equal to nine? Yes it is. So that checks out, we are happy, and I can box my solution. Let's try another one. All right, here we go with part B. Negative eight W minus seven W equals 45. Same thing we were talking about on part A. If we can combine any like terms, that's gonna make our lives way easier. And the good news here is negative eight W and seven W are like terms. They have the same variable to the same power. It's just to the first power. Um, so let's do that. Negative eight W minus seven W. You, you can think of it like uh, plus a negative seven W. Right? If I change this into an addition uh, equation, it would be negative 8w plus a negative 7w. Right? So those are like terms. Negative 8w plus a negative 7w is going to give me negative 15w equals 45. So look how much simpler our, equ our equation looks like after we've uh, simplified a little bit. Way easier. Now we can solve it with just one step. Negative 15 W, that's negative 15 times W. The inverse operation is division, so I'm gonna divide both sides by negative 15. And that simplifies to one, so I get W equals 45 divided by negative 15. 
that's going to give me a negative 3. Okay? And if I want to, I don't have room to, to write my check, but if I want to do it quickly in my head, negative 8 times negative 3 would give me 24 uh, minus or plus a negative 7 times negative 3. Negative 7 times negative 3 is positive 21. 24 plus 21 is 45. So I'm happy with that. All right, let's move on to C. Negative 7 times in parentheses, x plus 5 equals 28. There's a couple ways to do this. I'm going to show you how to use the distributive property first. So if we want to distribute the negative 7 to every term inside, negative 7 times x would be negative 7x. Uh, plus negative 7 times 5 is going to be negative 35 equals 28. And then obviously I can add 35 to both sides. Whoops. Yikes. I'm a little rusty. Add 35 to both sides. Those go away. I've got negative 7x equals 63 and divide both sides by negative 7 to get x alone and I get x equals, that's going to be different sign so it's going to be negative and that's going to be negative 9. Okay, That's one way to do it. But I'm lazy. I really am. I like to do the least amount of work as possible and be as efficient as possible. So let's look at another way to do this. Alright, so instead of using the distributive property first, I'm looking at this negative 7 and then that 28. 28 is divisible by negative 7, which is fantastic because instead of using the distributive property, I'm going to divide both sides by negative 7 first. Now, notice how I wrote it. I'm dividing the entire side by negative 7, right? But the good news is, is that this negative 7, you could think of it, you know, this Anything could be in that parentheses and we could do the exact same thing. So what happens is these simplify and I'm just left with x over 5. And because this is divisible, it's pretty easy. 28 divided by negative 7 is going to give me negative 4. And then this is just one step from here. Subtract 5 from both sides. That goes away and I just get x equals negative 9. And if I want to check that real quick, substitute negative 9 in for x in my original equation. Negative 9 plus 5 is negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 7 is 28. So I am happy with that. And here's some more to try on your own. Make sure you pause it and check your answers in the description below.